Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 26th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the last 48 hours on our sun, as we've had no major solar flares since last night's update. Did have a small duration moderate M-class solar flare, but other than that, it's been quiet. We do have models now for the coronal mass ejection that was ejected from most recent solar flare on the outgoing limb. Looking at the incoming limb right now, big uh, prominence swirling and stretching from the surface here in the southwest position of our sun. We've got five Earth-facing sunspots right now. Looking at outgoing, lots of activity the last couple days from these sunspot regions, including an X-class solar flare, multiple M flares, and just recently, another plasma filament eruption. Pointing out here the last 48 hours of events, watching the last few frames, plasma ejection, from the southeast limb of our sun right there. And as well, we now have Earth-facing coronal holes already in to the coronal hole wind stream. Solar winds have picked up to over 555 kilometers per second. Our average solar wind speeds are around 300, just saying. Having a look at 171 angstroms. Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play. Staying aware and prepared. With the other 87,000 followers worldwide. And thank you so much for following. Having a look at the sunspot regions in motion. As a very peculiar sunspot region turning away. But a pretty big one turning into view in the north. Fast forming sunspot region equatorial. 4007. These are the current sunspot regions, and we have three that are primed and could go at any time. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. We'll keep you updated as these things happen. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of except for our coronal hole wind stream. Solar winds are coming in at 555 kilometers per second. Have a look at the solar winds hitting our magnetosphere right now. Right-hand side showing the pressure. Left-hand side showing what solar wind speeds. Darker reds. Big solar storm waves hitting our planet. Winds topped out 550 kilometers per second right now. And we could see it get even faster. But while the pressure is on, no major new solar flares since yesterday. Solar proton flux is starting to come back down after being hopped up. Geomagnetic activity coming up to a KP3, and that is due to our coronal hole wind stream, which is depicted here in the bottom graph, Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral here, as well in the top showing the most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from the outgoing limb of our sun. But very notable here are some very fast solar winds. Those darker reds will be imp impacting our planet. Tonight and into tomorrow, we could see some very fast solar winds. Stay tuned for the live stream as it will be coming up later tonight. Having a look at tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow's will be more prevalent tomorrow night. And Alaska 3 Showing the wide spectrum here of the most recent solar events. And man, oh man, those sunspot regions turning away put on quite a show over the past four days. After seeing about a dozen strong M flares and a strong X flare. Earthquakes. Put it out an earthquake warning video a couple days ago. Still under earthquake warning. But we're seeing things popping off everywhere. Yesterday, after the 6.1 earthquake in Indonesia, we've seen about a dozen aftershocks. 5.3 Indian plate up into Myanmar. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 545 kilometer depth. Notable 5.8 earthquake here. Shinga, Japan, 394 kilometer depth though. 
just on the coastline of southern Japan. Also, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake here. Kamchatsk, starry Russia, off the coast of Kamchatka. And all this notable activity increasing through the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. No earthquakes to report here. Hawaii, well, it erupted again overnight. This is a look, this is a look at infrared imagery showing fountains of lava spewing from the northern edge of the Kilauea caldera. The summit completely filling up, almost completely filling up with lava as it just poured over the surface of the caldera. Amazing images. Check out USGS channel on YouTube. They've got a full live stream of that eruption. USGS right now is reporting 267 earthquakes past 24 hours. That is definitely up, my friends and family. The most recent being a 5.1 earthquake southeast of Easter Island. And a notable earthquake here just recently. Hawaiian Paradise Park, Hawaii. And that's the first earthquake we've seen in the last 48 hours. After things went quiet. And now Kilauea eruptions. Notable activity here, most recent, Southern California and as well, north and west of Yellowstone, Washington as well, minor seismicity, Cardston, Canada, right on the border of the United States and Canada, Bab, Montana and Cardston, Canada, earthquake on each side of the border there, I think the Coots border is just east. But that's a look at the last 24 hours, according to USGS, carrying on here around the globe. All of a sudden gone quiet, the Caribbean plate. Some deep earthquakes through Chile and parts of southern Peru. And a notable earthquake here, Italy. San Nicola, Italy, 4.5 earthquake, and that is just north of Mount Etna, who has yet erupted again. That is about four or five straight nights of eruptions. Having a look now at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Increasing seismicity up into the Aleutian Islands and Alaska. All of a sudden gone quiet between Central America and the Juan de Fuca Plate. And things have calmed down into the African plate and parts of Greece. Largest earthquake the last seven days being a 6.1 Indonesia just yesterday. And then we saw some strong 5.8 shakers all around the Pacific Ocean. Heads up, my friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. You live in an earthquake prone zone. Just be ready. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Notable plumes still. Kamchatka in Mexico and coming out of China. But that's going to change overlooking Hawaii tomorrow night. Pretty large eruption throughout the day today. And overnight last night. Notable plume coming out of Iran. Not sure what is erupting through that region. Overlooking Africa. South America. Parts of Europe. Notable plumes coming out of the Mediterranean through Italy. And of course, northern Africa through Ethiopia. This is a look at our world today, showing our upper level winds, which depicts our polar vortex and where our North Pole should be, or is, or was. We all know that it has drifted dramatically towards Russia over the past 40 years, and rapidly, not just dramatically, but rapidly as well, over the past seven years. And you can tell right here, magnetic north and our true north, big battle with the upper level winds. That's why we've got this big oblonged shape to our polar vortex. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show today. If you need the world weather forecast, check out last night's video towards the end. You'll see the world weather forecast. That's it for tonight's show. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. The Young and House on 
and get your daily dupe. Bye-bye now.